And speaking of the contract extension, good segue by you and Val, Al. RJ had a little bit of smoke for his fellow uh, classmates of his draft ca- class. Just a little bit. Mm. Just a little bit. Uh, because you do know that uh, Tyler Hero got his contract extension j- announced yesterday. Yep. And Hero got, uh, what did Hero get? Hero got four years, 130. Okay, RJ got four, 120. And uh, RJ met with the Post. His name is uh, Peter Bott. And here, here's what he had to say about the respect or the lack thereof for the Knicks and R.J. Barrett. Let me let me uh, zoom this in. Let's, let's read together, shall we? Salute to everybody in the chat. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Uh, on the lack of respect, R.J. says, besides the fans, which we do have a lot of fans, everybody else really doesn't like us. Everybody else really uh, doesn't like us. He says, I don't know. I kind of always been. It's weird. He says, I've gotten respect, but at the same time, there's also a lot of disrespect. But that's fine. All the guys that they want to put in front of me or whatever, I'm in their head, so it really doesn't matter. Mm. That's what he said. I'm in their head, so it really doesn't matter. Um, He says, I wasn't on the all-rookie team, and look where I ended up. Where are some of those guys? I like that. I like that. I do like that. And he says... Everybody thinks they're worth more than they got. That's probably literally every person. I'm thankful, and I was taught to not watch other people's pockets. Drop the Mm. mic. Drop the mic on them. My thought was I was wanting to get the deal done because I've always said I always wanted to be here, so I was trying to lock it in. R.J. Broadway Barrett. Two years later, Al. Drops the mic on him. Got his bag. And it's better than half the people. That was on that all rookie team. Put some respect. And just so, and just so that everyone knows who's on that NBA all rookie team. Yeah, that's Zion, Rui yep. Hachimura, Kobe White, Terrence Davis, Bum. John Morant, PJ Washington, Kendrick Nunn. Yep. Eric Pascal, Brandon Clark, Tyler Hero. Look where they are now. Look where they are now. The disrespect, man. Yeah. The absolute. But hey, that's that edge he's playing with. Yeah. That's yeah. that edge. It's good. That's that. You know, Rambo came in talking about that edge they're playing with. It's good. That's the that's the edge that's given it that they got right now. So I'll take it. If you're going to give me competitive basketball like this, keep downplaying, yeah. man, because he's going to keep back fighting, keep back, come back and keep punching. I tell you, man, that that was the um, the impression that I got of him from watching him. And from interviewing him and from talking to his his people, his team. He wears a chip on his shoulder, bro. He works very hard. And he's a he's a gym rat. He's a gym rat. One of his guys told me he was like, yo, listen, this kid, he doesn't want to be in a club. He doesn't he's very insulated with his family and his team. You know, if if he's not at the gym, he's at the crib chilling with the family or, you know, his whatever, whatever. But he's not out there like that. He's working. He's putting in the work. And that's a, from rookie year, I was always like, look, it's not going to be flashy. May not be the most efficient player, but his drive is going to keep him as a good player. He's going to raise his floor. It's going to raise his floor. What his ceiling is going to be, I really don't know. But at the very least, you know you're going to have a hardworking, serviceable player and somebody who's going to want to lead this team. 